Welcome to TechBrother with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the with column function in PySpark. The with column function in PySpark is used to create a new column or update an existing column in data frame. So it allows us to add a new column with the constant or computed value. It we can use to modify an existing column by applying transformations or we can change the data type of a column. Now, first a few things that you need to remember the in PySpark uh, data frames are uh, mutable uh, mean uh, you cannot modify an existing data frame in place when you use the in with the uh, column function it does not modify the original data frame uh, but instead uh, it returns a new data frame uh, with the added or modified column so here is uh, my data sam uh, sample data available we have only three a uh, lines of uh, data available here and uh, then we are creating uh, our first uh, data frame uh, df uh, and uh, we are using um, spark dot create data frame function and then uh, use the data from here and uh, then uh, we have uh, id name salary and department uh, those are our columns uh, and then uh, i'm printing uh, all the uh, records uh, from the data frame uh, by using a uh, df dot show Let's go ahead and execute this. Um, now when we execute this code and uh, take a look on the results. Okay, here are our results uh, and you can see that we have ID, name, salary and department. Uh, we have three records right there. So that's great. Now let's go to the next uh, uh, piece of the code and take a look uh, how we can use uh, uh, with column to add a new uh, column. Uh, in our data frame so as i said that uh, you cannot modify the existing data frame you have to create a new data frame for this one so df underscore new that's our new data frame depending upon the old data frame so df uh, and we are using with the column function here and adding a new column called bonus uh, and a uh, lit uh, 100 uh, thousand uh, that will create a, a constant value for this uh, bonus uh, uh, column now then we have a uh, whole we'll print uh, df uh, underscore new dot show that will show us all the records from the df underscore new data frame so let's go ahead and execute this okay let's go to the output and here we have data frame after adding a bonus column and you can see that the bonus column has been added and the data frame that we use for the printing that was the df underscore new so from df we created a df new and now let's say if we want to make more changes to the data frame and let's say we want to have salary column added to it and but we want to use some expression to calculate the salary let's say 10 percent of salary so we have a column and then we are multiplying with 1.10 that's the 10 percent increase in the salary so we are adding a new uh, actually we are uh, uh, modifying existing uh, column salary and but increasing uh, the value by multiple uh, of uh, 1.10 okay now we uh, define a new da updated data frame df underscore updated and uh, then use uh, this data frame and updating the value of a salary column so let's go ahead and execute and uh, you can see that uh, the in the all the data frame what we had it is was 5000 now the salary is increased to 5500 and same way for 6000 to 6000 so 6600 it's a 10 percent increase as we have modified the column now let's go and take a look on the next uh, uh, feature that we can use with the with column function so we can use expressions with it and uh, here we have uh, defined a new data frame df underscore expr and then we have a uh, df updated so this was our last uh, data frame and then we're using a salary with bonus so adding a new column to it and uh, the this column value will be depending on the expression so expression of what salary column plus the bonus column so this uh, data frame has that uh, columns and uh, those two columns will be used to create a new column called salary with bonus and now we can execute this uh, entire code and take a look from there so here is our new uh, data frame output uh, we can see that uh, we have a column called the salary with bonus right here and uh, that's the combination of uh, uh, salary plus uh, bonus um, so 5500 plus 1000 that makes it 6500 and the same way other records are uh, calculated as well so you can use expressions uh, to create a new column as well okay so um, one thing i would like to mention here as you have seen that uh, we were taking the one data frame and then adding uh, a column or changing the data type and then going to the next and all that that was just for the demo purpose so you can do all that in one line here so let's say if i'm creating the df1 out of uh, this uh, 
uh, data frame and uh, any data frame like uh, let's say from here or uh, from this one whatever the data frame I want to use I can use that and I can do multiple things uh, let's say if I want to create a new column uh, um, that I can employ name underscore test uh, and uh, I will uh, use employee name and then uh, this column will be drop and it will be renamed to this one also let's say if I want to add a column called salary and uh, that is uh, uh, you know uh, a I'm doing conversion here for that uh, salary that will be done as well and then I will say dot with and that's say I'm adding a new column and that's a constant value bonus one that can be done so if you want to do any any other action you can do as well so let's say we are calculating uh, this with expressions right so just copy this part the same uh, uh, dot with column that will stay and then you can simply add right after that and uh, it will become uh, next column so let's execute and I will show you this last statement uh, uh, that shows us uh, so you see that uh, we have uh, employee name test uh, that we created and bonus one uh, and uh, then also we have uh, uh, all those other columns created uh, whatever we had here so here uh, this one was the same name so that's why I didn't really got you are not seeing two names so see right there now we have a uh, bonus one as well okay now uh, if I will be you I will uh, use uh, the more like uh, putting uh, a lot of action, uh, actions that I need to do in the single data frame and then I create a new data frame out of that data frame uh, so I thank you very much for watching this video I hope this video will help uh, and uh, please subscribe and channel and I will see you guys in the next video